guys, this is Panicle and welcome in my studio. Today I would like to show you a patch that I made with this little system behind me. And it is quite a simple patch, but I think it's very interesting to listen to, in my ears at least. So first I will give you a quick overview of the patch and then we will patch it from scratch together. So let's dive into it. So I would like to give you a quick overview over this patch before I unplug everything. This is my main sequencer module over here. It's the TSNM Mark II sequencer by Doughboss. And I plug the one volt per octave out into my multiple over here. And I also plug the gate out into my multiple over here. And from my multiple, I can distribute the signals wherever I need them in my system. So my two sound sources are coming from the Buchla and TipTop audio module over here. And they are both getting the one volt per octave information from my main sequencer, which I plugged into the multiple and then into the Buchla module over here. From the Buchla module, I patched the two audio outputs into my low pass gates from main key. One is over here and one is over here. And both low pass gates are getting their gate information from my main sequence as well. And from the low pass gates, I'm sending the audio output for one to the Mimeo phone and then to the Quasar module from Noidside Instruments. And the other voice is going directly into the Echo module by Dreadbox. And from there, I also patched it into the Quasar module. The output from the Quasar module is going into my external mixer and from there into my computer. So let's unplug everything and then patch it from scratch together. So I'm starting with my main sequencer, which is the TSNM Mark II by Doughboss over here. And I already programmed a random melody in there and the tempo is quite high. You can see it blinking over here. So let's patch the one volt per octave out into the multiple first. And then I'm also patching the gate out into my multiple. Those two are my main signals in my patch and I would like to distribute it later on in the system. As my sound sources, I'm using the Buchla and TipTop audio module over here. And they are both getting the same note information from the TSNM module. I tuned both of them beforehand to a C note. And now I'm patching the outputs into my low pass gates from Menke. Both low pass gates need a CV input to open up the gate to let the audio signal pass through. And the gate signal I will be using is also coming from my main sequencer over here. You can see it started blinking right away and over here as well. All right, now we need to patch the outputs, the audio outputs of the low pass gates. We'll start with this one and I will patch it into my algorithm and then patch the output of the algorithm into my Mimeo phone over here. And from the Mimeo phone, I will patch it straight into the Quasar module from Neuzeit Instruments up here. Quasar, by the way, is a binaural audio module and that means that you can send it mono or stereo signals and it will make a 3D spatial sound out of it. So if you want to hear the full effect of this module, you will need to get your headphones. Up here in the Quasar module, by the way, you have three volume knobs, Quasar 1, Center and Quasar 2. Center is the unprocessed signal output. And Quasar 1 and Quasar 2 are the 3D spatial processed outputs of the module. I mostly like a mixture of both, processed and unprocessed. And that's already the first sound we patched. Here on the Mimeo phone you have the color knob. And the halo knob. This is the wet dry knob over here. So this is totally dry. The algorithm is a bit crusher and wave shaper module.
you can really crush the signal. Alright, let's get to the second oscillator. It also got its node information from the TSNM module, up here, and it also got its gate information from the TSNM module. Now we have to patch the audio output of the low pass gate to whatever module we want. I'm a big fan of delays as you can see, so I patched it into the echo module by Dreadbox. And from there it's going into the Quasar as well. Let's listen to the unprocessed signal first. And this is the process signal. And now I would like to mix it with the other voice as well. This is quite a simple patch, but there is still so much going on here. I love listening to it. So I hope you liked this, if you have any questions please leave a comment below and yeah, see you in the next one, bye!